I'm Matt, the guitar guy here. I'm gonna show you something that annoys me when I teach people. I will show you this thing here. Watch out for it. See if you can see the thing that's annoying when I do this. Is it not annoying enough for you? Watch what's annoying, okay? Here we go. What is the annoying thing, apart from my playing being slow, what is the annoying thing? It's my head and my eyes looking here. That is the annoying thing. That annoys me so much. And I used to do this and it's incredibly normal to do this because we want to watch with our, we want to see, we want to guide our pick with our right hand. We want to guide these little things that are going on or any strumming that's going on. But we get caught up in doing this head bobby thing like whatever's going on and it's really really not helpful so what happens when we're doing this why is this so annoying to me and I and what's the trick what's the tip that I've got for you guys to stop you from doing this if you're one of the people doing this and it's really really cool tip it's gonna be blow your mind when you hear this okay how do we do this how do we stop it how yeah? what we want is well, firstly the reasons why so if you're watching all the time you're not actually letting the subconscious take over you're kind of guiding it with your conscious mind. Like you're kind of guiding it with um, with your brain that's only working so much. It can only do one thing at a time. Whereas your subconscious can do multiple things at the same time, believe it or not. So what we want is our subconscious to take over this. And the way we do that is through feeling. But we can't do it when we're looking. If you close your eyes or if you look away, look at the left hand only, that will cause the right hand to have to feel its way through the, through the, picks, through the um, strings. I can get my words out. So it'll figure out where that, so if it's trying to do, let's say this is the picking pattern, and I can't, and I'm just learning it, and I've, instead of watching, I might, I'll look away and I'll be like. It might take a while, it'll be like, oh, feeling, feeling, feeling for it. But that feeling is actually programming the subconscious and letting it know how long, how, dis, how, how distance, how distance the strings are from each other. So it's letting you know the distance and it's actually starting to get more accurate with each pick. That's the cool thing that's happening. Now, how do we prevent ourselves from looking all the time? We can go, oh, I just won't look. That doesn't usually work. So I've got a cool, cool, cool tip for you. What I've got here is a looking at your pick stopper right here it's an a4 piece of paper i have these available on markthegatarguy.com you can get these for 99 dollars and postage and packaging of course we have to send it to you um, you can get one of these if you need to otherwise just grab an a4 bit of paper we're going to stick that on top of the guitar usually in the little that little curve there usually that'll just sit there and then i put my body against it now when i go to play the guitar you can't see this but i can't actually see anything other than if I put my hand out there I can now see it so if I go from the side hopefully you can see that oh that's a great shot I'm gonna go back a bit so I'm a burnt shot look at that so if I look down I can't actually see anything down there now this sucks if you are kind of guy that always looks you are gonna hate this <laughs> believe me you're gonna hate this but just do it for maybe one practice session and that'll be enough and seriously, because your right hand is going to pick up where those strings are. It's just going to be, it's going to be clumsy for a while. So don't give up and go, ah, it doesn't work. Just per persevere, persevere. I like get used to where those strings are. And eventually, you'll have that little picking pattern. That's the tip, guys. Simple as that. A piece of paper. Now, if the paper's prepared, the piece of paper keeps falling, just chuck it behind the guitar. Or if you've got an electric guitar and it's got no room to sit on the top, Chuck it behind and fold it slightly so that it's got an angle on it, and then away you go, and you can the same thing. There's no drama at all. Like I said, go to Mark the Guitar Guy. You can download one of these, an e version of it, or we'll send one out to you in the mail. 99 US dollars, very good deal. So let's do. I want to do it. So right now, let's. If you're already sort of with that, you can go and have some fun with that now. But if you're having problems with your picking and you're having problems looking, let's do a little exercise together, okay? So go and get your sheet of paper. You can pause me just briefly if you want to. Go and get a sheet of A4 paper. Hurry up. Quick. 
Okay, next thing. You got it? Sit it on your guitar. Hopefully it sits there okay. Mine's just being a bit naughty right now. So it's hopefully sitting on top of the guitar like that and you cannot see now. Okay, we're going to do a D chord. Grab your D chord. Together we're going to do this and we're going to program this right hand to do what it's supposed to be doing. Hopefully you're holding the pick correctly. Little finger on the guitar as an anchor. We're going to use that as an anchor. Now just search for that fourth string. I know straight away where it is because I'm awesome. If you go find the fourth string and just pick that string. You might find the fifth string. Oh, if, this, if you pick the fifth string, guess where it is? It's just below it. It's just there. And if you pick this, that string there, the G string, or the technically the third string, it's just above it. Okay? So find that string. Just pick it down straight for me. Down. Okay, pick two in a row. Okay, now we're going to go to the string. We're playing a D chord, by the way. We're going to go that note. I'm going to go underneath and pick two notes. And then we're going to come up again. And then we're going to go up again. Just down strokes. We're going to go D, so the fourth string, third string. Two notes, fourth string, then fifth string. Just keep doing that. Simple as that. Now, believe it or not, this is helping with your programming. The next thing we're going to do, you've done enough of that? Yup, bored. Okay, now we're going to go do a picking pattern. Now, it's going to be the down, down, up, up, down, up picking pattern, which we use for the rock strum. Okay, so we're going to apply it to picking. Here's a D chord again. We're going to pick the bass note again, the fourth string. Then we're going to pick a down up. But what we're going to pick is the third string and the first string. So we're going to go down, down, up. Okay, just that part. Just get the first part of the strumming, this picking pattern. So we've got a whole picking pattern to do. Just just do it in bite-sized chunks and program it into the subconscious by feeling it. And notice we haven't looked down, have we? Or if you've tried to, you just see basically a boring bit of paper for $99. Okay, let's try that again. Down, down, up. Okay, fourth string, third string, first string. And the rhythm is what you hear there. So a long note and two quick notes. Or one, two, and. Okay, one, two, and. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is a bit harder. We're going to do the second string next as an upstroke. So it's going to go down, down, up. There's a wee tick-tock going on in there, you might notice that. Down, down, up, up. So strings are four, three, one, two. Four, three, one, two. And there's a wee tick-tock going on. If you watch my right hand, it says tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Okay, I played a bit extra there. So the next thing we're gonna do, down, down, up. We're going to do a down stroke on the third string, okay? So it's going to go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And you do it with me. Now I'm going to stop right there. If you are really struggling with that, I'm not surprised because I'm pretty awesome and I just nail this stuff all the time. Now if you're struggling with that, it's not programmed yet, slow it down, okay? I'm not sitting there with you so I don't know exactly how fast you're going to do this and it honestly doesn't matter how fast you do this. Let's do it even slower just to see what happens, okay? So we're gonna go this beat down, down, up, up, okay? And again. Now we're gonna add the down at the end. happening is the little finger sitting here and our right hand is getting used to all the programming that's going on there. It's getting used to the feeling of how far it has to reach from that, especially the down up, it's got to go all the way down there to pick that bottom string out. And then that can be a bit hard at first because it's sometimes you just sort of, and some, you don't quite reach enough, but we need to go all the way down to the bottom and then, and then come up and come down again. And a lot of people go, why don't I just go all down strokes or down, down, uh, down, down, down. Up, up, like down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. The problem is it's not part of the TikTok, therefore the rhythm's not there, therefore it, hard, it becomes hard to sing, hard to stay in time, and it's just better sticking with TikTok because TikTok is amazing. So we're going to finish it off now. Down, down, up, up, down. In fact, that can be enough for most people. If you want to, we can add another up stroke in there, which is going to be, in this case, we'll make it the second string. doesn't really matter. The pattern is the most important thing. Down, down, up, up, down, 
strap beat in there, which is the full pattern, really, isn't it? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Now let's play it fast, we'll do it slow. Now that pattern alone, if you just went over and over using that, using this $99 piece of paper, will transform form your picking and you'll find you'll go and do something else, a thing you've never done before, a thing you've done for ages and you'll find you're not even looking at the right hand like I never looked then, look I'm looking away. How do I do that? Because it's programmed but if I look it's going to ruin that. Okay you get the gist of it, you get the gist. Alright Mark I get the gist. Hey if you love my style of lessons and you'd love to get some lessons from me um, I guarantee I would love to help you out and I will help you out if you go to Facebook click the book now button and we can tee up a time to catch up and do a free lesson if you're in a hurry if you if you hurry now you there might be some free lessons there still um, click on that there's a first half hour free otherwise we can do some paid bigger lessons um, up to you guys but go and click on that and there's some other options as well I love you guys I cannot wait to see you again soon mark the guitar guy signing off mm -hmm.